Hello everybody, today I want to take a look at Vertical, an Evitol company based out of the United Kingdom. Recently it announced intention to combine with SPAC Broadstone Acquisition Corporation. So what we'll do in this video, we'll be comparing Vertical to Jabi, Archer and Lilium on various parameters such as max range, max speed, number of seats, noise level, revenue and cost estimates, manufacturing costs, valuation, key investors, time to market, and more. But first, let's take a look at the SPAC that Vertical is merging with. SPAC name is Broadstone Acquisition Corporation, ticker symbol BSN, and it is traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Current share price is $9.99. And now let's take a look at the investor presentation. One thing that becomes apparent right away is that the design of Vertical and Archer is very similar. These two aircrafts look suspiciously similar. What do you guys think? Do you think it's just a coincidence or is there something more to it? This actually reminds me of an article that I read in early April, in which it was stated that Whisk and Evital Company a joint venture between Boeing and Kitty Hawk is suing rival Archer Aviation for allegedly stealing its trade secrets and infringing on its patents. Whisk is seeking unspecified monetary damages and an injunction against Archer to prevent it from using the allegedly stolen technology. Now, of course, Archer in response says it has no reason to believe that it possesses any of Whisk's intellectual property. Now, I'm not even going to start speculating on who was the first one to come up with that design. I think it's safe to say that the design of each of these three aircrafts was inspired by one another. But in either case, this is not the topic of this video. Let's move on. Next up are key strategic partners and investors. You got Honeywell, provider of flight controls in avionics with a simplified vehicle operations, minimizing pilot workload and operating costs and leveraging technology from the F-35 VTOL combat jet. There is also Rolls Royce, one of the world's largest industrial tech companies, will be providing the know-how on electric powertrain. And of course, there is also Microsoft that will be providing software solutions for the operation. So again, these three are both strategic partners and also investors. On the commercial side, they've got two strategic investors and partners, Avalon and American Airlines. They've reached conditional pre-order agreement for up to 1,000 aircrafts with these two companies. Now keep in mind that conditional pre-orders can be canceled under certain circumstances. So please take that uh, number with a grain of salt. Now, Verticals X4 will have a capacity of 5 people, 1 pilot and 4 passengers, max range of 100 plus miles, top speed of 200 plus miles per hour, up to an altitude of 5000 feet. Now, they will be pursuing initial certification by the European Aviation Safety Authority and the UK's Civil Aviation Authority. And you can see that Vertical is comparable to Jabi on max speed and max range, while Archer lagging behind on these parameters. Vertical was founded in 2016. They tested the older design of the aircraft in 2018 and 2019, and they plan to test the newer design, the X4, later in 2021. In 2022, they plan piloted test flight and transition from hover to wingborne flight. They hope to receive the regulatory certifications in 2024. Let's compare the timeline to other eVTOLs. We see that Jabi was founded in 2009, Archer in 2018, and Lilium in 2015. That comparison makes it clear why Jabi is so much ahead in terms of project development. They just had a head start. Archer, on the other hand, is on the other end of the spectrum. A lot of the work Vertical will be doing in-house, such as aircraft design, battery design, and rotor design. Systems integration and simulation, as well as certification, will also be done in-house. 
Now, Vertical's ecosystem approach draws on research and development commitments and the commercial and manufacturing expertise of uh, partners such as Honeywell for flight controls, Rolls-Royce for powertrain development, Microsoft for software solutions. Solvay is providing the advanced composites and adhesives for the Vertical X4 to help design structures that are tailored to the very demanding weight constraints inherent to the battery-powered aircraft. GKN helped to design similar systems in some of the world's most complex aircraft, such as the F-35 VTOL fighter jet. And there is also Avalon, and we'll talk about Avalon later on. The company estimates the manufacturing cost of a single aircraft to be at around $1,640,000. You can contrast that with $1.3 million for Jabi, $1.2 million for Archer, and $2.5 million for Lilium. Now, of course, let's keep in mind that Lilium aircraft is a lot larger. It can accommodate six passengers, whereas Vertical, Jabi, and Archer can only accommodate four passengers. We need to keep in mind that these are just cost estimates. Once serial production of these aircrafts begins, we will get more accurate numbers. The company also estimates the costs per seat per mile at around $1.06. If that is really the case, then they will be able to compete with the ground transportation. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, a 25-mile journey would take you around 16 minutes by eVTOL, 83 minutes by car, and 15 minutes by helicopter. Now, of course, journey time by car will depend on traffic in uh, highly congested areas such as LA. Travel by eVTOL will save a lot more time than travel in uh, areas that are less congested, such as Phoenix, Arizona. But generally speaking, EV tolls will save you about 75% of the time travel by car. Now, let's compare the travel cost for each of these modes of transportation. Travel by EV toll will cost you $65, by car $45, and $325 by helicopter. This comparison also suggests that EV tolls will be able to compete with ground transportation on cost basis. In this example, the same journey is only around 50% more expensive by eVTOL, but it saves you 75% of the travel time. And each traveler will make the decision if the time saved on travel is worth the extra cost. The company claims to have up to 1,000 aircraft on pre-orders for the potential order value of $4 billion. They then specify conditional pre-orders from Avalon and American Airlines with pre-order options from Virgin Atlantic. American Airlines is a key equity holder. They placed conditional pre-order of 250 aircrafts plus option for additional 100 aircrafts. Targeted delivery of aircraft starting in 2024. And they also have strategic operation around operations, customer experience, route planning, staffing, and infrastructure. What is not entirely clear to me is their commercial plan. It seems like they're not only be manufacturing the aircraft, but also taking part in the air taxi operation with American Airlines and uh, Virgin Atlantic. I read through all the available information and was not able to find an answer to my question. Virgin Atlantic has a pre-order option of 50 aircraft plus option for additional 100 aircraft. Targeted delivery of aircraft starting in 2024 as well. They also have a strategic operation around operations, customer experience, route planning, staffing and infrastructure. Next is Avalon. Avalon is also a key equity holder. They've placed conditional pre-orders for 310 aircraft, plus option for additional 190 aircraft. Targeted delivery of aircraft starting in 2024, and they also have strategic operation to combine aircraft 
plus financing plus services to enable Evital business model to be rolled out to global ecosystem of partners. However, it is not entirely clear what that business model is. What is clear is that Avalon is the world's second largest aircraft lesser and has relationships with 150 airlines globally and the vertical will be utilizing their extensive sales network to access potential new partners. Now, let's take a look at their production forecast. The company believes that it will be able to scale up production of Vertical X4 very rapidly. 50 aircrafts in 2024, 250 in 2025, 1000 in 2026. Generally speaking, the production volume target, the revenue target, the beta target and free cash flow target are largely in the same ballpark figure across all four EVTOLs. So that would be Vertical, Archer, Javi and Lilium. Whether or not they'll be able to meet those targets remains to be seen. I think they won't be able to meet those targets. If anything, I think Javi has the best chance of meeting those targets because they are so far ahead in the design and development stage. Next, they go into more detail on the design of their rotor system, the proprietary battery system, the powertrain, and so forth. Basically, they claim to have the most advanced and cutting-edge technology available in the market. Whether that's the case remains to be seen. One thing is certain. Vertical has strategic investors with deep pockets and also strategic investors and partners with the know-how in the design and operation of aircraft. I will spare you the technical details, but if you are interested in these topics, make sure you review the investor presentation. It is worth mentioning again that while Vertical has tested some older version of their EVTOLs, the VAX-4 aircraft that they are planning to mass produce has not been completed yet and has not been tested yet in flight. The company plans to have the construction of the demonstrator aircraft done later this year and then get it tested in vertical and then get it tested in hover and in flight mode. At $10 share price, equity value is 2 billion 221 million. No debt on the balance sheet, 32 million in cash and 344 million in net cash proceeds from the transaction, which gives us enterprise value of 1 billion 845 million. In terms of ownership at close, existing shareholders will own 72% of the company, American Airlines 5%, Avalon 4%, SPAC public holders 14%, pipe holders 2%, and Broadstone Equity 3%. Okay, now let's compare Vertical to Jabi, Archer, and Lilium. Now the stock price for each of these EVTOLs is around $10. So the comparison is very easy. Comparing 2025 revenue multiple for the four EVTOLs, it is clear that Vertical is way below Archer and Jabi and slightly above Lilium. Now, comparing EBITDA multiples, Vertical at 6.9 is way below the other three EVTOLs. Whether you believe that Vertical is undervalued or the other three EVTOLs are overvalued, will depend on whether or not you believe that they can meet their targets, the production targets, the revenue targets, and EBITDA targets. Based on where each of these companies are in terms of design and development of their EVTOLs, I would say that I think Jabi will be first to market, Lilium is probably the next one to market, then it will be vertical and last will be Archer. Let's take a look at uh, some of the other financial benchmarking. As I mentioned before, the production values are fairly similar. As I mentioned before, the aircraft production values are similar across all four EVTOLs. As you can see in 2024, each has a very nominal production of just a few dozen of aircraft. 
it seems to me that they're just trying to align with each other on their production targets. In 2026, Vertical aims to scale up its production with uh, up to 1,000 aircrafts. The other three Evital companies are more conservative. And Jabi had the decency to not provide any targets for 2027. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't even look past 2025. But anyways, in the revenues, they again, they're fairly similar. In EBITDA, again, fairly similar, except for vertical, that believes that it can generate twice as much as its competitors by 2026. They vary substantially in terms of free cash flow from operation. They show a negative cash flow for Jabi all the way to 2026. I'm not sure why that's the case. I'll uh, have to look into it. And the cash flow varies for the other three Evitals as well. But again, I would not look past 2025, maybe not even past 2024, because it's just way too far ahead in the future. I guess what I'm trying to say is take those numbers with a grain of salt. Take them for what they are. Those are just forecasts. And those are very optimistic forecasts. I can tell you that much. If you're trying to decide which company you want to invest with, I think at this stage, which is essentially a venture capital stage, one must ask himself which company is more likely to succeed in this business. I would pay less attention to forecasts and production targets and pay more attention to the strategic partnerships, the design and development stages. What I'll do, I will leave you with this table that compares the four Evital companies on key parameters. I don't want to influence your decisions, so I'm not going to voice my opinion on each of these companies. I just want to provide you the information for you to make educated decision on which company, if any, you want to invest in. Please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which Evital company you're most excited about. And as always, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.